All right, here's an update on one of the homemade batteries that I made back in 2011. And uh, a lot of the homemade batteries that I've made I'd like to report on, but there's so many of them that uh, I can't. So I'm just picking some of the interesting ones and then the other ones, um, they just sit there. But a lot of them worked, a lot of them failed. But this was one of the more interesting one was this one here. And... Uh, what it is is a uh, galvanic it's a zinc anode in the middle and uh, then the copper bowl on the outside with tap water and i made this back on november 10th 2011 and i called it the homemade battery with balls and the reason is it used these floral polymer balls that held the water and uh, when you put water on these they expand out and they make these little balls and you can get them all over the place the 99 cent store has them again dollar tree but uh, you can just stick a flower down in there or a plant and it grows and I didn't do anything with this for a long time I just let it sit there and then look what happened it started growing these crystals and these are I believe copper sulfate or I may be wrong but they're a copper crystal and this, I believe, is the hard water crystals that are in my tap water that formed this rather interesting crystalline structure. And let's see if I put a light on it. Maybe you can see it better. Maybe not. But um, I thought this was really interesting. Then I put a, a golden pathos or pathos plant in there. And you can see how it's starting to root down in this. And I found this very interesting that a plant can live in a galvanic cell. And my uh, longest running uh, homemade battery is a galvanic cell um, in a pot with a, a philodendron plant that I called uh, Phyllis. And it's uh, over three years old. And it, it used magnesium and copper. This is zinc and copper. But it still puts out the power. It's three quarters of a volt, uh, almost 10 milliamps after uh, this amount of time. And today is. Uh, 20, uh, 29th, I believe, of uh, June 2013. So anyway, I wanted to give an update on this thing. I've got a little capacitor here, a smoothing capacitor, but that's not a super cap. That's just a electrolytic to absorb the energy. Turn this little pulse motor. This is one of my little pulse motors that I use for testing. But that, I thought, was very, very interesting. So I thought I would share that, that that... Uh, plant would grow in that uh, in that little pot with the, the battery going on and I just water this from time to time keep the water level up to a point about like that and these crystals continue to grow and I thought that was rather interesting so I thought I would do a little video on it that's my life in the crystal cell thanks for watching